Hey YouTube, I'm Nick from Nick282K. Having recently picked up some new and old photography gear, I'm starting to get interested in flash photography. One of the specs that goes along with flash photography is the flash sync speed. I've never had to use this before and thus I didn't have any idea what it really meant. So I did some googling to figure out what it was and I've set up my high speed camera to show the difference between a slow flash sync speed on my old Minolta camera versus a reasonably fast modern flash sync speed on my new Sony a7R. A modern interchangeable lens camera has two curtains in its shutter. A first curtain that opens beginning the exposure and a second curtain that closes stopping the exposure. So your flash sync speed is the shortest possible exposure where both curtains are open at the same time. You need both curtains open at the same time because the flash is so brief. At high shutter speeds, both curtains are moving at the same time. There's a small slit in between the two of them that's actually making the exposure on the film or on the digital sensor, and the amount of time that slit is over the sensor is the exposure. If the flash fires as the slit is traveling across the sensor or across the film, you'll have a small streak of light where that one area is exposed, but the rest of the exposure was in the dark. So, now that we know what flash sync speed really is, I'm going to show a comparison using my high speed camera of the flash sync speed on my old Minolta 102 versus my brand new Sony A7R. I'll show a uh, clip using the camera at its proper sync speed where the frame is all the way open as the flash fires, and then I'll show a second clip showing the camera going above its flash sync speed. You'll be able to see that small slit moving across the frame and the flash firing at an inappropriate time exposing only uh, a part of the frame instead of the whole thing. First is the Minolta at 1 60th of a second. You can see the frame opens entirely and then the flash fires. At 1 1000th of a second the small strip slides by but the flash doesn't fire until the first curtain has made it all the way to the end. Here I'm slowing it down showing at 1200 frames per second, the same as the last two clips. On the Sony camera, I'll be trying four different shutter speeds. The first is 1 60th to compare against the Minolta. The second one is 1 1 60th, which is the listed sync speed. The third is 1 200th, which supposedly the A7R can sync with but is not documented by Sony and finally 1 1000th to show an improper sync speed where that small slit does not line up with the exposure of the flash. Taking a 1200 frame per second look here is the 1 60th of a second exposure. This is the 1 160th second exposure. This is the 1 200th second exposure, which supposedly is a good flash sync. And finally, here is the 1 1000th of a second exposure, which is a poor flash sync. You can see that the slit makes it all the way to the top before the flash fires. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Uh, before I filmed this, I really didn't know what sync speed was, so uh, hopefully you learned as much as I did. If you'd like to see more high-speed photography related videos, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.